Welcome everyone to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Anna and today we will continue building the perfect base. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps to get these videos to other people. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe as well. In the last video, and I think this is episode 9, so in episode 8, we were going ham with automation. Um, we did a lot. So we automated these hatch farms. Um, we made sure that these uh, critter feeders are automatically filled by these auto sweepers for all our four hatches, uh, hatch farms. But the top one is still empty, of course. Uh, also, everything that's dropped, eggs, coal or anything else is being loaded in this conveyor loader. That stuff is all going, uh, and you can see some of the coal here, to here, where the coal is filtered out. It's dropped here where this auto sweeper is filling my coal generators, so my duplicates also don't have to do that anymore. Everything else will go down here, um, which can be any resource, but mostly eggs. Uh, they come in here, this auto sweeper picks the stuff from here. If it's something that needs to go into these incubators, this auto sweeper will put it in there. Otherwise, it will put it in the next conveyor loader where it goes to this receptacle. The auto sweeper picks it out of there, puts it in here if there's room and it has something that needs to go in there. If not, it goes to the next one where we go into this evolution chamber. In this evolution chamber, everything except eggs is picked up and placed in this conveyor loader. Uh, the eggs will stay here until they hatch. Uh, they become creditors and uh, they drown here. And then they turn into, uh, well, egg shells whenever they hatch already. Uh, but when they die, they will turn into meat. And the meat is then, uh, with everything else that is in here, that, that lands in here, which shouldn't be many other things, it will be moved to here, which is another vacuum uh, near the kitchen. This conveyor loader can reach this spot. It will pick, pick up any meat that is here or any other stuff. Um, meat is put in here. Um, other stuff is put in here. And if we have cooked items, it will place it in this loader where this is moved nicely into our new food storage location all automated so my duplicates don't have to do anything here except cook the food and of course groom the critters which bubbles is still doing so that was a lot um, in this video we're going to do a couple of things uh, first of all we want to go into the next stage and the next stage means we need to get plastic and steel as you can see we already have 250 kilograms of steel but that's not enough. Um, steel is very good because it can withstand a lot of heat. Um, so we can use it to make very hot things and temperature management is very important. Uh, we also need plastics because a lot of advanced items are um, dependent on plastic. Uh, in order to make steel and plastic, we need to go into the oil biome, uh, which I've already mentioned before, we are going to use this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use all this oil here, which I probably am going to put into a big pool. Um, and then we're going to make some production, probably very locally. Uh, I see a nice spot here with already some cooling oil on the floor, uh, which we can use to cool down the, um, the stuff that's producing the steel and um, plastic because it gives them a lot of heat actually and the oil can soak up some of the heat. Uh, we don't have to make a ton of, um, of those materials because we can make the rest later in a better controlled environment and higher up. Um, so that, that's the first thing that we want to do. Um, it's probably the main topic of this video. It's probably the topic of this video. Um, the second thing that I want to do is uh, regarding duplicate clothing. They, of course, are not naked, uh, but they can wear clothing. And if we look in here, this is our clothing storage bin. We have warm sweaters, cool vests, and snazzy suits. Uh, warm sweaters, 
They help if your duplicants go into cold areas. They give some extra insulation. Um, you have cool vests, which help against hot areas. They, um, yeah, they, they relieve your duplicants of some of the heat. Um, these two cost a little bit of decor. Um, decor is important for your duplicants to be happier. Um, and since they are always in uh, these exosuits, they don't really need this. I think for the cool vest, uh, I don't know even how much of a cold area they can withstand, but I think there's a lot, and, and warm sweater, I think they can withstand to up to about 700 degrees or something like that, super, super hot. So what we do want is these snazzy suits, and these snazzy suits, they increase decor in a small area effect around the wearer. So they will actually have an area where the core is actually improved by just their clothes and that's just a nice bonus to have it also has a little bit of insulation but i don't think it really has an effect when they are in an exosuit um so yeah we have one but we have six duplicates so we need to have a little bit more um let's see we have one let's skip um, one of the exosuits or the, one of these uh, snazzy suits that we already have to bubbles uh, we need to make five more, that means. Um, so we need to have some kind of clothing machine. This is an exosuit forge where you make the other suits. And we also have, uh, where are they? On the stations, I guess. Yeah, we have the textile loom, which does require a little bit of power, but it only requires power when we are using it. Uh, I think I'm going to put that here. And I think I'm also going to move this here um, because it doesn't need to have such a prominent location here. Uh, and that also means we can deconstruct this cable. And then we're going to move this one to here. Yeah, that seems okay. We do need cables for that. Of course, um, that's... I mean, I guess we can make it go all the way like this. Um, doesn't really harm anything. Um, what we also can do is make a new floor. I do see that we need to change up this one. And then we can also make a um, airflow tile there. And we need one here. And the rest can be normal tiles uh, made out of granite for the biggest decor bonus so let's put that there uh, and once we have this textile loom we can start making some clothes um, what we do need in order to make clothes is reed fiber and we have only have 18 um, since we need to make five suits and there are four reed fiber each um, it's probably a good idea to start working on some extra reed fiber uh, reed fiber um, it requires polluted water in order to grow and we have quite a bit of polluted water here it has 130 million germs which is a ton but um, reed fiber doesn't really care um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a bit of this polluted water to make a couple of farms here uh, let's see we're going to put in some insulate what is this stuff hot i don't even think it's hot it's 30 degrees uh, and uh, this is not built. I think we're just gonna use insulated pipes because why not? And then we're going to connect this. And then these will grow automatically already. And that will give us some additional reed fiber, which we can use to make um, clothes for now. But also later on, we can use reed fiber for other um, textile stuff like carpets, uh, which you can have on your uh, bedrooms. For example and maybe even other stuff but yeah read fiber it doesn't ha hurt to have a little bit more of that um so yeah that's already the clothing stuff uh, one more thing that i also want to do in this episode if we have more time is work a little bit more on automation of course uh, we want to have even more automation for example right now and it doesn't always go super well uh, we see here that this box is empty and this is required as input for the critter feeder um, i want to automate also the um, supply of food for the hatchlings 
to these farms. Um, so that requires a little bit more work. Uh, for now, we're not going to do that first of all, but for now I'm going to set this to a 5. So this is these are filled a little bit more quickly. Uh, this is pretty full still. It's at a 2, but that's fine. And here we don't have hatches yet. But yeah, uh, these farms are a little bit more full. Um, we'll get there. Uh, so yeah, we have one hatchling egg here right now. We have 130,000 calories. I don't think we're going to dig a lot uh, in this episode. So our food is going to drop, which means that the second part of automation that I want to do is activating this farm again and making sure that the meal wood that comes from here is automatically also moved here. So we have minimal work for our duplicates. Um, in order to do that, we need to remove a little bit of this crown molding so we can place um, more of our robots. Um, are we going to do it now? Yeah, why not? Uh, let's remove that, this, and these two. Yeah, that should work. Uh, we can already put in these millwood seeds. We have 75, so that's more than enough to fill up all of these. And then this can start growing while we are uh, doing this here. Actually, yeah, let's wait with this. Uh, we will be, yeah, I, I want to make some shipping already because of course we have Liam who needs to start working on this. He's the only one who can make these. Um, and the meal wood that we farm will be shipped directly into here uh, so we can just connect it to this line i think it can go to here this is the yeah this is the first one uh, actually we can move it to here because this is where we will load the millwoods um yeah um, is there more that we want to do? I don't think directly there's more. Uh, let's see the temperatures. Um, it is starting to get a little bit more yellow for some reason. I don't know why exactly, but we need to make sure that this also can grow. Um, yeah, the water here is also a little bit hotter now. I think I'm going to add a couple more... Um, Squeeze boards, one there, maybe one here, should be okay. And then these can also start uh, cooling down the base a little bit. Um, in order to make steel, we also need a kiln, um, or maybe more kilns. Uh, I guess one at first is the most important, the ceramics. Uh, I guess we can already start doing something. Um, in order for the kilns to work, they need coal. And we have our coal supply here, the main coal supply. So we are going to leach off this coal as well, because every all the coal will, will come here ultimately. Um, so we're going to make something here in this area as well. Uh, so let's make up some room here. So we can also make these uh, ladders, by the way. Let's free up this, and we can also deconstruct that one. Um, and then also let's immediately start building the stuff that we need down here. Actually, do we want to build already? I want to first dig out some areas here. So we're going down. This is uh, igneous rock, which is fine. Once we're down here, I also want to dig out around here. So we have more open space. Dig out this as well. We do have something here that we need to take into account but we can also dig up this piece and then i guess we can reach till there this is more lead that i want to just snatch um yeah we can open up this actually let's not open up this yet i want to do this first and then we start going sideways here so we make room uh, this is pressurized so there's a lot of oil here actually 
there's also a lot of oil here i want to make a big pool of oil here and then use that as a bit of a heat sink actually so let's uh, let them go to work a bit uh, until we are at a further stage uh, i see that this is also already um constructed uh, what i want to do here is make some auto sweepers uh, let's make this as a six from lead is fine i'm going to make one here which can reach that side of the room and then one here which can reach the rest uh, we make a conveyor loader a year exactly and then we add in some power cables so these things also work And that should already be good like that. And then let's see at the bottom. We're also digging out some stuff here. But this is not going very quickly. Let's also make this a 6. I need to be careful not to make everything a 6. Otherwise the priorities don't really have any effect anymore. But yeah, I do want to have some um, stuff going on here. Because this is the big project that we're going to do today. We want to make uh, plastics and steel. And for that, we need to have some kind of um, oil, well, heat sink, whatever you want to call it. I want to make one big pool of oil, which can help with the, the heat that's going to be released. Let's just dig into here and then everything, all this pressure will move to this bottom pool. See the exosuit forge is already built again. Did we get our cables hooked up? Yeah, but they're not built yet. Okay, that's and this is also almost built. And then we can start making some extra snazzy suits. Don't know, did, did Bubbles already get her suit? I think she did. So now if we look at decor around Bubbles, you can see that the, the green area is going, is following Bubbles a bit. She's radiating decor, which is nice. And now that this is here, we can start making some additional snazzy suits. So as I said, we have the cool vest, the warm sweaters, both of which we don't really need. We just want five of these snazzy suits. Um, we don't have enough for five, but we do have enough for four. So let's make, uh, let's just queue five. And then the fifth one will be made as soon as it's possible. But yeah, we do need to have power first. Um, for this conveyor loader, I think everything is already connected. Let's go back here. Yeah, so if we load something here, it's automatically moved into the chute. It's not going to this side because there's no uh, input here. There's only an output. So it automatically goes to this side. And what we want to put in here is actually only meal lice. Because that's what these things are dropping. See, we're also making progress here. Let's build this ladder. Um, am I going to set this up already? Yes, I guess we can. Um, so what I want to make here is actually a small spot where we can start making some... Um, let me think. Going to make it like that. I'm going to put a planter box there and there and there we want to make it one wider uh, i also want to load and unload these kilns well actually only load with a auto sweeper so we're going to put that here these things actually can we put still a work seat here does look like it um yeah we need at least one and then for refinement, we can have the kiln here. Uh, we can make that out of... I don't think these have an overheater uh, temperature, right? So yeah, let's make that just out of copper ore. We'll make one there and one here. These things get super, super hot. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then let's make a storage bin here. Um, in order to supply these kilns, uh, we're going to make refined carbon and ceramics. And both of those recipes require coal, as I said already. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to supply coal from here to here. And we're going to do that the same as we did down here. Uh, we have a conveyor loader. 
which needs to be in range of this thing. So we have, okay, like that. I'm going to put it uh, such. And then this one gets until the end of this. So we also needed a conveyor receptacle, which we put like this. And then we're just going to make rails in between those two. And that should be good G. Um, as I said, we need for refined carbon, we just need coal. And um, we need refined carbon for making steel. Uh, for ceramics, we need coal and clay. Um, clay, I think it's up here mostly, but we're going to make it that we put a little bit of clay in here. Uh, maybe not 20,000 kilograms. Or oh, why not? Uh, let's put clay here, cultivatable soil. And then this uh, auto sweeper can pick it up here and put it in the kiln that needs it. Uh, this one we can set to cool. At that point, this loader will automatically put it in here, but we still need to power the stuff, of course, otherwise nothing works. Uh, we're going to stretch this cable, put it in there and there. And that should already be good to go. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait for this cable and then this stuff can run by itself. Uh, let's see. This is already done. Let's see. Yeah, it's picked up, put in there. And then the meal lies is automatically transported here. So that means we do have something to eat uh, for... The, the duration that we are putting eggs here and this li this list of eggs is going to grow very very quickly i see we have a um, stone hatchling here why is it not being loaded in here what is going on are you too busy come here little guy wrangle I see there's actually two hatched interesting very odd bubbles what are you doing Anyhow, um, so this is now working. The wood seeds are automatically moved. This is working. So we have coal, we have clay. So this here, we can um, make sure that it makes some ceramic. Um, let's just start with something like 50, it's five tons. I mean, this is going to help a lot with uh, stuff that needs to be insulated properly. Uh, and need to be uh, uh, able to handle very high temperatures. Um, so yeah, this is automatically loaded by the coal from here and the clay from here, and then it starts working. This one, we can uh, make refined carbon. I don't think we need that much. Uh, I think it's like 70 per... So let's make, uh, let's make about 20 of these. It should be enough for a while. Okay, so you will see that this here will start generating a lot of heat. These each produce 20,000 DTUs of heat, which is a ton. So that's why I have these other planter boxes here. I actually want to fill them up as well. Let's see our base. It is cooling down slightly again. Maybe we can uh, remove this one here. Deconstruct. And then we can put in another wart here so we have a little bit more temperature control i see we have another um, hatchling here let's also make sure to put it in one of our ranches uh, did we get the stone hatch it does seem so yeah we have more here now okay good let's see how our progress is down here uh yeah this is looking good uh we already have a big big pool here uh yeah this is looking just fine. Let's dig out a bit more. Like this. And like that. So we can get up here. And then we can dig out some more. Actually, we can dig out three layers here. Like that. And I make this a priority six. Just to make sure that they do this. Um, and now actually we can already start setting up our plastic and steel production here. Um, in order to do that, we need some plumbing. We need a liquid pump because we need to pump up oil. Uh, and because this is very hot here, we're going to make this out of gold amalgam. 
which has a plus 50 degrees uh, overheat temperature. We're going to put it all the way at the bottom here. And then we're going to make a normal pipe. This is 400. Let's just use the normal pipe. It doesn't matter, really. All of this is uh, hot. So we're going to pump um, the oil up. And then somewhere here. Uh, let's see. In refinement, I think. We need to have an oil refinery. We put that... I guess here is okay. And then we can already see that this pipe here goes into the in slot of this. Um, what we also so this is this is going to produce petro petroleum. Uh, let's see what else do we need oil for for the metal refinery. Uh, let's also put down that one. And for the metal refinery, this is actually as a coolant. And so the metal refinery uh, takes in cooling water. Oh, let's see, can we see that? It takes in cooling water. Can I turn this around? Let me see. Refinements, metal refinery. Doesn't seem that I can turn it around. That's a little bit annoying. Um, so this thing here, it has a liquid intake pipe where it takes in cooling water. It also has an output pipe where the uh, cooling water is heated up actually by quite a bit. Um, you see the effect of this thing is uh, plus 16 kilo DTUs as well. All of that temperature or most of it is put into the cooling water and that has to be dumped somewhere. So yeah, that cooling water is going back into this whole um, area. Um, I think, yeah, let's do that with insulated pipes just to make sure. Let me see, because this is going to be a mess. I want the output here. Let's make it to here, then have it jump over. Then from here, I want to have it dropped down again. I need one bridge. So that's the output. Yeah. And I guess we can make this out of. Let's actually uh, cancel this stuff. And then make the plumbing, the insulated pipes out of. Oh, I already think I had it out of igneous rock. Uh, like this again. The bridge, igneous rock. Like, whoops. Like that. Okay. Um, then we also need water in so let's continue this pipe all the water that is not processed here will continue in here um yes this is already going out so we still need to my god this is such a mess what we can do here is jump across once more yeah let's do that Let's do that. So we jump across this again, insulate it like that. And then the petroleum that comes out of here will need to be moved into a storage bin, uh, which is here, liquid reservoir. Nice. That's uh, conveniently up there. Let's go like this. This looks really messy, uh, but we're going to be fine. Uh, and then the petro petroleum will be in here, and that will be fed into the polymer press. And the polymer press, as you can read, it converts petroleum into raw plastic. Uh, and this thing generates um, carbon dioxide, it generates steam, a lot of nastiness, a lot of heat also, but uh, actually, why, am I making this out of gold amalgam? Yes, definitely. Yeah, we need gold amalgam, probably. Although it is being cooled by the oil. Let's just be safe and make this out of gold. Uh, we put this here. Then we go back to plumbing because we want to put the petroleum in there. Should be fairly easy. And then in ventilation. 
We have a little bit of carbon dioxide that's coming out of here, which we're just going to dump somewhere here. This is too high, I think. I have ventilation, gas vents, like that. That's actually also these uh, metal refinery and the um, oil refinery. Uh, refinements, oil refinery out of gold amalgam. That was here, I'm pretty sure. And then the metal refinery was there. Okay, you can also see that these things require power also. I don't want to make the cable all the way down here. That would be uh, quite a bit of a waste. So we're going to make a little bit of local power uh, with the coal generator, which we're going to put here. And then a smart battery, which we will put here. And then this will be connected, of course, by automation. So that this coal generator doesn't run, always run. And then we're going to connect this power all the way across. Let's see. So then we have the oil turned into petroleum and going into the reservoir, um, going into the polymer press. So we make um, plastic and then this metal refinery we can use to make steel. Right. One thing I still want to connect is this liquid reservoir with the um, oil refinery because when this is full enough, I don't want duplicates to go here and start filling up the last remaining bits. Uh, so we want to have a little bit of automation here as well. Let's see how easy that is. Uh, this is going to this one, right? Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem that difficult we just make it like this and then we have a bridge across that should already do it oh wait we do need to also power the um, liquid pump of course so let's connect that as well should have enough um, lead down here for that uh, and I I think we should be just about okay on the power draw. Um, yeah, let, let's let them build this. And I hope everything stays cool. Or is this, this is made in, by copper. And this here also copper. Let's not do that. Let's also make these out of gold amalgam. Gold amalgam there. And then this one, we uh, this was already out of copper, which... Oh, this is refined copper. Um, yeah, we don't need to make it out of steel. You can see steel has an overheat temperature of plus 200. That's not necessary, but this was already okay. Oh, all right. So let's let them build all of this stuff. And then we'll get back uh, when this is done. Oh. That is nice. Uh, a second set of eight Paku. Um, they will actually very nicely go also in here if everything is okay. They're searching for the way. And there they go. Oh, all of these. These are halfway. Okay. So we have Pakus of 0H and Paku of 14H now. Nice. That's very nice. We have... Uh, doubled our amount of Paku here, which will make sure that we get more fish, which is free food. Uh, let's see how our progress is down here. We have the coal and the battery are both done. We have a lot of um, the... Seems like we have a lot of the cable done already. Seems like all of the cable is done already. It's just that the other stuff still needs to be made. But for that, I think they have to get the gold amalgam. Um, here we also are generating um, our refined carbon. We have 1800 kilograms right here. I think we're making 2000. Yeah, so this kiln is almost done. And this one was making a lot of ceramic. Uh, which can, we can use to make uh, insulated tiles. So if we look at insulated tiles and then ceramic, uh, ceramic we can see that uh, it has a very high overlay, uh, overheat temperature and it is an insulator. So this one is very good at um, 
insulating, which is uh, what we need insulated tiles for. Uh, anyway, um, let's let them continue. So do we have more clothes? We don't have more clothes just yet. Let's see. Polymer press is done. Nice. Um, metal refinery is done, but it requires coolants. Everything is slowly coming together. Uh, in here, we uh, want to make iron into steel, but we don't have iron yet. Uh, so we need to make iron first. And we can make iron also in here from iron ore. We have plenty of iron ore, 37 kilograms. So let's start by doing this. Uh, how much steel do we want, actually? I think... Let me see. We have 250 kilograms. I think if we have about... 10 more crafts, so 1,000 steel. We have enough for one aqua tuner. Um, is that going to be enough? Well, you can see this is already filling up with oil. This one also. Let's set this one, by the way, that it only sends a green signal like this area should be okay but yeah how much steel do we want maybe 20 of these but for 20 we need 1400 kilograms of iron 20 yeah we have plenty of this and we also have enough for 20 of these so let's make 20 here wait let me see it was 1400 iron so we need 14 of these Let's make these first. Uh, yeah, so now we need people down here working on these machines. The polymer press doesn't need a duplicate to work on it. It will just be fed with poly uh, with uh, the uh, petroleum. That's the word. Jesus. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of petroleum either. So yeah, this will fill up quicker. At least this is a buffer for this. Uh, but you can see here the polymer press is pushing out the plastic and at some point it will pop here on the floor and we have our first plastic uh, 30 kilograms is this 30 thought it pushed out 60 at a time anyway i guess it's 30 doesn't matter so yeah this is great uh, and now we also need to start making our steel uh, this here is going to be producing a lot of heat. So you see uh, heat production 32.5 kilo DTUs, which is a lot. It's also uh, venting out a little bit of carbon dioxide here, which doesn't matter that much. Um, and this here, this here is the heat creator. So it seems that everything is set up correctly here. We have in uh, some crude oil, which is 72.1 degrees celsius and it comes out at 150 degrees celsius and we're dropping it down here again and of course this will make this area hotter but we don't really care that much and it can eat a little bit of heat uh, so it is actually fine uh, we can actually dig out a little bit more here now like that and then like that. Then we start digging out the rest here. Guess. Like that. I want to make it so that they can walk up here. Because then we can also dig out the other stuff. Okay. And once again, this is just a temporary setup. We're making our first plastic here. I think we only need like 200 kilograms of plastic. Uh, but we're going to make a little bit more. Uh, because why not? It is heating up the oil slightly. Uh, but yeah, it's still 66, 67 degrees. We're fine. Um, we made one iron. Uh, lots to do. And at the end, we want to make also... 20 steel and the steel is actually going to heat up the um, 
cooling oil a lot more than the iron so dependent on what you make let's actually reset this we're going to make the iron first and leave it here and then uh, once we make the steel i will show you that um, the steel production will heat up the oil significantly more than the uh, iron production uh seems like this is being this is dug out see i think we can just dig out this right and then like that actually we don't need this one because we can reach it from the bottom but yeah we have a nice big pool here now what is the priority here i keep having to set it back anyway so to make steel we need a couple of things we need iron which we are making here we need refined carbon as i mentioned we have 2000 made which is enough for 100 crops of steel so that's uh 10 tons of steel which is quite a bit and then we need lime and lime we're making by uh crushing this fossil that is found here in this oil biome uh, but also from the eggshells that are coming from our hedge farms um, we have a bit of uh we have 5.6 tons of fossil actually wow that's a lot but yeah some more no it's not done yet almost some more iron mates and then you will see more hot hot crude oil um raising about 75 to 80 degrees celsius in temperature just by making one piece of uh, 100 kilograms of iron i should say all right how's the farm doing let's see we have already our first four reed fiber produced here uh that means we also have one more snazzy suit produced which we can give to the next um duplicants and then we need one more so this one goes to max all right it seems that this uh, cable is overheating slightly uh, overheating it's uh, overloading as you can see the potential load is 2160 watts um, so if this thing is running together with the pump which is almost always running um, especially if this uh, oil refiner is running and this metal refiner is running which takes 1.2 kilowatts and then we're actually using too much power and this cable will overload and that's not what we want uh, we actually already have 570 kilograms of plastic uh, which is plenty for now uh, we might make more at a later stage but for now let's fill up this um, bin with petroleum um, this time i do remember uh, so we can make some more later on when uh, we're done making um, uh, steel here in the meantime the crude oil here is still 66 degrees so not much has happened so it's working perfectly you see that it's a little bit thicker now because there's a small layer of water on top which really doesn't really matter uh, it doesn't make it so that these buildings are underwater although it does look a little bit weird but because there's only so little crude oil 5.3 kilograms and then a small bit of water um they are not flooded the buildings it just looks weird because the water cannot mix with the oil so it's on top of the oil uh, so it looks like it's full tile of oil which does look a little bit weird uh, we are having some trouble here with power this is not supplying enough i guess this is uh, as good as empty i guess one coal generator doesn't provide enough for 1.2 kilowatts of uh, the metal refinery but yeah it'll do yeah this is drained very quickly why is it oh that's why we want this to start earlier let's say at 50 percent and then go up to 95 that's why and then this we want to be loaded uh like 40 percent nah 35 all right so now this should stay a little bit more full all 
Wow, this is really not keeping up. Maybe we have to make a second one. Or maybe we make a um, jumbo battery out of gold amalgam. Let's put that here. Because, yeah, this uh, battery is only 20 kilojoule tops, and this is another 40. So this should work a little bit better. Because these are just pulling too much energy. This battery is just draining like crazy. Yeah, and then they have to stop every time, which is taking a lot of time. So yeah, we I want this to be done fast. And maybe this already to say that the coal generators should start working at like 65%. This uh, oil refinery uh, can easily be kept up. I think this is only... How much watt does that one use? 480. Yeah, so the, the oil refinery can be kept up by one coal generator. But yeah, these two together, nope. Not working. But yeah, now we have a jumbo battery uh, next to the smart battery. So that should work a little bit better. Yeah, here we go. That's the last iron ore, I think. Yeah, and now we can start with our steel. 20 of those. And then we get really hot stuff out of here. Um, the crude oil here is... Uh, yeah, it's heating up slightly. I think it was like 75. And the crude oil up here is now about 85. But yeah, down here it's still 75-ish. It's just a hot spot here that we have right now. It's... Okay. This is now stopped. We're going to get uh, a lot of petroleum in here, which we can use later on. But yeah, here's our first self-produced steel. And as I said, this is going to produce very, very hot um, outputs. Ah. Uh. Let's actually disable this for, for a while. Let's put it to 3. Because we don't need the petroleum. And this one is already drawing uh, plenty of power. It's, it's keeping up a little bit better. Here's the first steel. And the oil coming out of here is 213 degrees Celsius. Uh, luckily, can we see the oil? No. But if we go to oil, it takes a bit of temperature to get it uh, to its vaporization point, which is 399, at which it will not turn into a gas, but actually turn into petroleum. Uh, so you can um, put oil into an oil refinery to turn it into petroleum, but you can also heat it up. Uh, sufficiently and then it will also turn into petroleum but yeah that has not happened here uh yeah we have a first iron to steel done let's build the others and then we will have quite a bit of steel which we'll use in the next episode to build some um more advanced stuff basically some cooling stuff Yeah, the batteries, I guess, yeah, we can make one with this full battery. Can make one steel, it seems, which is nice. Let's actually uh, sweep this real quick. Because it's heating up here. Same with the plastic, but this is already hot. So yeah, the steel, when it's output, is 40 degrees. So yeah, we want to uh, move this as quick as possible away from here. 
Because it's a shame if this... Uh, well, it's actually also eating up the heat from the oil, I guess. Alright, that's going well. Uh, this is also going well. We have already 36,000 kilocalories of meal lice. Um, as you can see, we only have mukru the meal lice now. All the fancy foods have been eaten. Uh, let's actually see. Do we have the last snazzy suit? We do. So we can give Rowan also a snazzy suit. And we can look at what we have in our printer. We have some ice. We have some gold amalgam. Uh, what do we need more? Um, let's take the gold amalgam. Never hurts to have that. Then we can sweep that up. Alright, we have more to sweep here. Make this a little bit cleaner. Our eggs, by the way. Uh, we have, as you can see, quite a few eggs now. They're all incubating. As I said, it takes 20 cycles for them to incubate. It's 24, 29, 53, 57. So the first one is 57. That means we're about 11 to 12 cycles further since we started um so yeah they have still way to go this is eight uh let's put the rest of the stone hatchlings in here how many normal hatchlings do we have now six out of eight and four out of eight so we have ten total um yeah we wait until this is a total of eight and then we turn another uh wrench into a, a stone hatchling wrench for now, we just leave them as it. They are, they are producing eggs. It's just fine. How many stone hatchling eggs do we have now? Six. Okay. Draclet, four hatchling eggs. Yeah, mostly stone hatchling eggs. Which is fine. We have 63 tons of that. How much coal do we have? 107 tons. So this is also increasing because of hatchling farms. We have quite a bit of coal. Steel is at 850 now. We're going to about 2,000. Two tons in the end. So yeah, this is now keeping up pretty well. Sweep this again. And our big pool of oil. It is heating up in the top there. But overall, it's just fine. I've also opened up this pack of oil here, so this went up a little bit further still. Because there was quite a bit of pressure here as well. We have a lot of diamond here. Which we can dig up. Diamond is a great um, heat soak. It uh, can hold a lot of heat, but it can also uh, transfer heat very well. So this is definitely going to be used in a later stage. Here you can actually see petroleum uh, naturally. I guess it's been heating heated up here by something else. Because normally we only see oil here naturally. We actually have sour gas here, 10 kilograms. 25 kilograms, that's high pressure. Hmm. Something is heating up our stuff there. And here also sour gas, but not that much. Here's also sour gas. I don't know for sure what's going on here. This is not super hot. But yeah. Alright. Um, 1250 kilograms. I'll be back when all of our um, production orders are finished. And then I think we can start wrapping up this episode. So, one last thing I did here is plant a buddy butt here. Uh, buddy butts are plants that spread um, germs, as they're called. But these are actually good germs. Uh, so if we go to the germs overview, they spread floral scents. And floral scent is a scent that some duplicants are allergic to. But uh, when a duplicant is not allergic to it, they actually get a positive debuff. Mainly smelled flowers, which reduces their stress by 5% per cycle. 
And since the duplicants walk through this area very often, uh, we already had a buddy bud down here, but they're not often in uh, this area. Uh, we have a lot of flower sand here as well. I also opted to put one here because then they will get this buff um, very frequently, actually every day. Uh, so they will be extra motivated to work harder. Uh, it seems also that we are very uh, close to uh, finishing our steel production. Uh, and with that, yeah, three more. I think the remaining bits we will uh, let be produced. Is that English? Um, off camera. And then next time we're going to use this steel to make some exciting new stuff. Uh, it seems that a water lock also has been created here automatically. But yeah, you can see we have a lot of natural gas, which I think is coming from the old uh, refinery. It, yeah, it produces a little bit of natural gas automatically. Um, but yeah, that's fine. It's just hanging here. It won't be a bother. But yeah, having said that, um, we have our steel. We have a lot of steel. Why did we lose 500 kilograms of steel? Oh, there it is. Um... And we're going to use that next time. Um, so that was basically it. We didn't get to a lot of the automation that I wanted to do. We did a little bit of this meal uh, lice, which we still need to get through our egg uh, dip. <laughs> it's not really an egg dip, but uh, the omelet dip, I should say, because we're not cracking all of these eggs anymore. Uh, but yeah, to get through this food dip and waiting for the first eggs to incubate, which is also going to happen next episode, I guess. How far are we? 62 I saw, 64, 68. So that's about six more cycles. Something like that. Six cycles, a sack 130. Round about there, we should get our first stone hatching or hatching, um, hatching here. And then turning into meat, which is transferred here. And then we can cook it for making um, barbecue. Very nice. And then we have some very nice food for our duplicants. And we can stop feeding them muck root and meal ice. Because these are not the best kinds of food, actually. Um, it's not making them very happy. But yeah. Uh, lots of improvements for the next episode. Um, but that was it for this one. If you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to do next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode.